Yo, I'm trying to get some food tomorrow. I swear, you're always hungry. Yeah, I'll be hungry tomorrow. Well, is it gonna rain tomorrow? You can see if it's gonna rain depending on what the clouds look like. Where did you take us? Hey, that doesn't matter. You're gonna learn about clouds. Well, what kind of cloud is it then? Oh, I think I've seen those before. They are stratus clouds. You can tell because they are gray, broken up, and spotty. They are sometimes so low to the ground that it's basically fog. This cloud can barely lets in light and either has a light drizzle or snow depending on the temperature. Yeah, you're right, you're right. What are you, a cloudologist? It's actually a meteorologist. Oh, what's that one? Oh, uh, that's a nimbostratus cloud, I think. It's stupid thick, and it's layered. This cloud can block sunlight and will continuously bring down light rain. Well, you guys know some of your stuff, don't you? Thanks, Doc. Which cloud is the god tier cloud? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Cumulonimbus clouds are the Thanos of clouds, producing hail, thunder, and lightning. This cloud has a flat base with a dark wall hanging from the underside. This cloud grows from small cumulus clouds above a hot surface. Haha, <laughs> Thanos? Do you guys know the clouds that don't produce precipitate? Yeah, I think so. Cirrus clouds are layered and patchy while looking fluffy and super white. They don't produce any precipitate that reaches the ground, which means we stay dry. These form from the ascent of dry air. The base structure of these clouds are icy crystals in any shapes or size. Oh, I remember one. It's a cirrostratus cloud. They're basically transparent clouds that can span over a thousand miles and can almost cover the state of Texas. These clouds are often associated with good weather as you can see sunshine through them and do not form a precipitate. If you see these clouds produce a precipitate, please see your family doctor immediately. These clouds are created at the frontal weather system by slowly rising air and can also aid in predicting future weather. Now you see that really thin cloud? That's an alto stratus cloud. It's one of the thinner layered clouds that produce no precipitate. They let sunlight through easily, unlike Trump and illegals. You know, I might pursue meteorology. <laughs> he got 76 and Mr. Skagley on his class. Fair. Oh, the cotton cloud. I forgot this one. Yeah, of course you did. It is the cumulus cloud, and they are super puffy and super white clouds resembling cotton. These clouds are produced as air on a heated surface is lifted, cools, and water vapor condenses. I'll explain the last two. Zero cumulus clouds are just small group clouds coming together for a family gathering often identified when there are ripples in the sky. You know the trails of smoke left behind by planes? That's how they form. The water inside is super cooled, meaning that they stay liquid even below zero degrees. Last but not least, layered alto cumulus clouds. They are a mix of ice and water. They can form in several ways, including the breakup of an alto stratus cloud or the lift of moist air pockets, which are often then cooled by nice and easy turbulence. There's really any precipitation, but when there is, there's barely any. Wow, I think we're experts. I think we'll be able to get food tomorrow. Yeah, I remember the clouds are nearly transparent, making a cereal stratus cloud. Sick, we're getting Nando's tomorrow. Now, how do we get out? 